Good evening to us all. How are we all doing? This is Melody Francis here, and I'll be talking about volunteering. I'll be talking about volunteering. Today, we're going to talk and explore on volunteering. Volunteering is majorly a particular um, topic that needs to be taught because it helps us to build a wall around us for influence. Okay, so extensively, I would give us major tips that has helped me as a volunteer to this level I am. I'm Melody Francis once again from Benin Republic. Happy to be your host right now. Okay, so volunteering. What is volunteering? We're basically going to talk about what volunteering is, benefits of volunteering as well. And we will also talk about um, the advantages of volunteering. Why volunteering? Because it's important that we understand why volunteering. And we would also know who is a volunteer. Okay. so. I'm sharing my screen right now. I hope you could you can see it. So who is a volunteer? A volunteer is one who has hunger for service. Mark the word hunger for service and is ready to make an impact without asking for anything in return. Okay? So this is basically what volunteer who a volunteer is. Is someone who has hunger for service. Is someone that can serve. Is somebody that um is eager, is passionate about serving and for the benefits of impact, okay? So, because you have this passion to serve, you don't want to ask for anything in return. Your goal basically is to serve, okay? So, but you need to note this, there is no service without a reward and there is no impact making without a result. All that matters is the motive behind it. So don't say because you're going to be offering your services free of charge and without being paid, because of that, you feel that you are entitled to it. No. Every service you put in place for humanity, there is a reward for it. As long as you're making impact, it is because of the longer process, the longer duration of what that impact will do to lives, okay? So basically, this is who a volunteer is. A volunteer is someone that has hunger for service and is ready to make impact, even without you paying or asking anything in return. So what, let's go to the next slide right now. Let's look at the types of volunteers. So basically, we're going to look at types of volunteers. There are different types of volunteers, and we're going to explore them. Number one is skill-based volunteers. We have different kinds of skills. We have vocational skills. We have digital skills. There are basically different kinds of skills. Under vocational skills, you have people that knows how to dress, um, hairdressing, clothes making, math making, weaving, and a whole lot more, okay? So on the digital skills, we have video editing, graphics designing, um, power presentation, um, animations, uh, moderations, voiceover works. These are skill-based volunteers. Using your skills, what you know how to do best to serve, okay? So we have virtual volunteers. Basically, um, I've, I've, being a volunteer virtually for a whole lot of conferences, webinars, organizations, and lots more. So it's just like a virtual volunteering gives you the opportunity to be at your comfort zone and still serve. Okay, so we also have environmental volunteers. Those that are, are basically going to be more of doing environmental sanitation among villages, states, communities, and, and lots more. So now we also have community volunteers. They help in the growth of a community. And we have lastly school volunteers. School volunteers are people that help schools to grow. D depending on the kind of projects they go to school, they are passionate about students and they go there to talk 
to, to volunteer their time, volunteer the services and a whole lot more. So basically everybody can volunteer. Everybody is a volunteer. Everybody can volunteer in any capacity that he or she wants to volunteer. Over time, I've volunteered online. I've, I've, I've gone through community volunteering. I've gone through school volunteering. I've done virtual volunteers. I've done skill-based volunteers. When I join an organization, I just want to serve with my skills, okay? So that's basically the types of volunteers. So let us look at the benefits of being a volunteer. Okay, so let's look at the benefits of being a volunteer, benefits of majorly serving as a volunteer. There are many benefits that we tend to overlook as volunteers. Okay, so one of those benefits is confidence building. Over time, I've been able to build my confidence so far because I gave into a lot of projects that aided me in volunteering. You can imagine someone that was a head girl in a school but could not give a speech. But because she wanted to build herself, she gave in for volunteering and it boosted her confidence. By the time she's saying one or two things, she's she's really happy that this, oh, this is what I can do, but I was not doing before. Okay. So it helps you build your confidence. It helps you, it helps your capacity to be enriched. I never knew that speaking is worth it. I never knew that writing is worth it. I never knew that um, uh, being a compare is a whole lot. I never knew that being a voiceover artist can be a whole lot. I never knew that being a graphic designer can mean much to people. But as I was volunteering, my capacity was enriched and getting enriched and I could do basically a lot of things on my own because I served and I learned, okay? Now, another thing that volunteering does for you is it makes your commitment increase. You're committed to something. You can say, this is what you do. You could actually talk, you could actually say, oh, this is what I want to do and I will achieve it because you're conscious for the hunger of service to make impact. Another interesting thing volunteering does for you is helps you meet people. I remember my first boat experience. You can imagine, I was scared to my bones, but because I was able to meet people and it's a volunteering that I, I volunteered for and to get to the, the, to the location, I had to go to a boat and I was like, okay, imagine, would I have met such people if I didn't give myself to volunteering. It helps you network with great minds. It helps you have a rich network. It helps you have a, a, a network that you can't even compare. Basically, even if you pay for it, okay? So volunteering helps you meet people, meet people that you never thought you would meet. In 2020, thereabout, I was nominated as the Outstanding Volunteer of the Year of the Iconic Brand Awards. And in 2021, I had to travel. I wanted to meet people. If I had no volunteer, I would not have this mindset that I want to meet people. I would not have this mindset that there's a joy or there is something good meeting new people, meeting new faces. Okay, so another benefit of volunteering is that it helps you have fun. The fun is there. You're meeting new people, new faces, learning new things, learning new cultures. Trust me, it's the most interesting thing that you could ever imagine. So volunteering helps you have fun. It also challenges you to be your best. It challenges you to be more. It challenges you to be, to be work more, okay? It challenges you to, to help yourself grow more. It helps you to push. What you think you couldn't do, you could actually do it. You just need a little push, okay? It helps you take risk. I was scared in that boat, but trust me, it's volunteering. So I was more 50% uh, scared, 50% happy, <laughs> okay? So it molds you, volunteering molds you to your desired position. Right now, okay, basically I was the human resource director of 3D Africa organization. Now I'm an executive, okay? So 
basically through 3D, I have trained myself, I have molded myself, and it has given me a new perspective and the growth is evident and it's there. Okay, so it helps you, it molds you up to your desired position, to your desired uh, office, to your desired um, place of influence and a whole lot more. So it helps you make a difference. Those little smiles you put in the faces of people, that project that you take on to make impact is helping a lot of lives out there. It's helping basically a lot of lives. And finally, it helps you learn new skills. I learned copywriting skill from volunteering, content writing, volunteering, animation skills, volunteering, voiceover work, speaking, basically, all skills I learned while volunteering because I got to know. Okay, so these are the benefits of volunteering. So in essence, as you're volunteering, make sure you have in mind that you are growing, that you want to grow, that you are basically growing and it gives you a platform to volunteer with all you have because let me tell you the truth you can't volunteer in a particular organization for too long okay there is a need to have a shift there's a need for growth so test your growth process as you're volunteering in 3d or as you will be volunteering in any other organization check yourself voluntary helps your growth process very faster so finally the what of volunteering Okay, so what is the what of volunteering? What can we basically say that the what of volunteering is? Number one, what of volunteering is that it helps you build a wall of dignity, respect, and legacy. So volunteering is not a waste. It helps you build a wall of dignity, respect, and legacy because you are worth more. The lives you're touching, the impact you're making, what you are doing is contributing to the success and to the movement of those that are connected to it. So as a volunteer, you can be more than you ever imagined. It is the stepping stone to achieve great things in your life. Thank you so much for having me. My sincere appreciations to Treaty Africa organization. Thank you so much.